Hey, what's up? What's up? That Pimax crystal right there? Yep. It's that that Quest 3 right there? Hey, man. I heard it's big, it's heavy. You got a wire. Why you want that? Well, you know, if you're looking for that next level immersion, this is it. Word? Word. It got that 57 PPD, so true to life visuals. It looks amazing. And it's that next step up. Ain't nothing wrong with your Quest 3 right there. But if you're looking for that next level immersion, this is it. What? Yep. Well, show me. Hi. Right. Well, let me show you. Cool. All right, welcome to the channel. I'm Viper. I hope you guys enjoyed that intro. I had fun making it. It was cool. It was a blast. Today, we're going to dive into the Pimax Crystal Super, the 57 PPD version. I'm not going to hit you guys with a whole bunch of technical information. I'm going to talk about it, but I'm not going to go a deep dive into a lot of that. I'm going to tell you guys how I feel about this headset. This headset right here. So first of all, let's take the elephant out the room. The headset, yes, it's bigger than the headsets that I ever tested. It's big and it's wide, so let's get that out the way. It's front heavy, which you can adjust with weights in the back and stuff like that. And yes, it does have a wire. This wire must have a lot of stuff going on inside because it's a heavy wire too. I got the PSVR too. That wire is not as heavy as this one right here. Those are the three things everybody talk about. Weight, how big it is, and the wire. So let's get that out the room. That is the cons about the headset. I just want to tell you guys because I'm excited about it, but I want to tell people about those three aspects that everybody talk about. Let me tell you, I'm always looking for that next level immersion. I want to feel like I'm actually inside of VR. I'm always looking for it. I do it with accessories and I do this and I do that just to get that next level of an immersion. The Pimax always had like kind of a bad rep sometimes. People just talk about this and that and the software wasn't good before and everything started to get better and better and better they kept pulling forward and then they came out with this versions i said okay let me test this thing out let me see if the hype is real or it is what it is took it out the box hooked it up put it on and let me tell you when i first put this thing on my head this cushion right here it comes with a uh, two cushions and this one is the thickest one but it had a thin one on it and i put that on i was like oh here i go now i see what people talking about but then i was like oh let me throw this thick one on there boom that's fix number one i put it on it seemed like it was out of focus for me ah it got automatic ipd but i did not turn it on went into the program turned on automatic ipd it's set to my ipd of my eyes which is 64 boom that fixed that but right away when i first put this on right away what did i see the clarity the brightness of these screens is ridiculous i'm like wait a minute maybe it's just me so let me let me keep going let me keep going the first thing you want to do is go into settings make sure that your ipd is right then make sure that the level of graphics card, whatever you got, make sure that's right. Once you got those two settings right, then throw it on and listen. It was a thing of beauty. I'm just trying to tell you. I'm not trying to overhype. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm trying to tell you this thing when I put this Pimax Super 57 version on and I was playing a set of Corsa Com Compicion or whatever, how you ever say that name. And I put on Ornament Lista 2. The visuals was great. When I say that, I looked at a tree and it looked like a tree. It looked like a tree. I know that probably sounds weird to you guys, but when I put on like the Quest 3 or something like that, it's a tree, but the details in that tree is just not there because it just don't have that pixel per degree to, to make that detail of that tree look like a tree. This thing made it look like a tree. I felt like I was there at that place. And I was like, wait, maybe, maybe it's just this game. Let me put on another game. And I put on another racing sim, man that look good too i'm looking around like and i look at details i look in the back of stuff i look i look around i look on the floor i look at i look at details to see how detailed this thing is and it was very very detailed 
I was like, okay, okay, let me take this off. Let me put another headset on. Put another headset on right away. I can see it. I saw it right away. It wasn't as bright. It wasn't as clear. It wasn't as detailed. I was like, whoa, that was I was missing? No lie. It's like if you put on some glasses and then you put on a better pair. The ones that's if you wear glasses and you put on your correct prescription, that's look sharp now. And that's what this headset is. It's really, really sharp. For a while, I wasn't doing no flight sims. I wasn't doing no flight sims. I was just doing some racing sims and, and playing regular. I threw on Star Wars Squadron. What? That star battleship that you fly around when you first start, I saw every detail in that shit. Every detail in that shit. It was amazing. I'm back into Star Wars Squadron. I, I restarted the whole campaign. I'm starting over from scratch because I missed some things. I missed the way it looked. I put in DCF world. Listen, the ground looked like the ground. The buildings looked like the buildings. The quality, the detail, everything inside this headset looks like it's supposed to. Some people say the 57 version have a smaller FOV as the other versions they have. This one right here, I did not lose any field of view because it has the same field of view as the Quest. I didn't miss anything because the field of view was the same. It, to my eyes, there wasn't nothing different. Now, if I see something bigger and now I have to go back to something smaller, we might have a problem. And so right now, I wasn't missing anything when it came to field of view. That made me happy. As y'all can tell right now, I'm very excited about the Pimax Crystal. I love to be shocked that something's gonna blow my mind. And two, I love clarity. I'm always reaching for something that's more. These are not OLED. Blacks in the OLED, if you understand OLED, there's no lights. It just shoots you colors. So blacks are deep black. They real true blacks. But this panels right here, these asperic lenses, that local dimming that it can do, it get very, very close to deep blacks. I'm not missing anything near neither. This has been one of those headsets that I go to now. This cord was getting on my last nerve. Then I remember, hey, I have a pulley system that I had for like a year. I never used them. And let me tell you, when I set that up, oh, it took the cord frustration away. It's gone now. I don't even feel the cord anymore because it's on that pulley system. Like I said, it's things you have to do to make sure that this headset fits you and makes it worth it. For me, it's worth it. To get better clarity, the details, the deeper immersion, it's worth it to me to do the extra mile. I had an iPhone when the Gear VR came out. I took the iPhone back and got a Samsung because I wanted to see VR. I've been looking for the next level immersion the whole time. Be haptic vest, pro tube gun, bow and arrow. All these things help you get immersed. Now this is my next level immersion. Pimax Crystal Super 57 PBD. I just want to tell you guys my excitement for the Pimax Crystal. Is it perfect? No. Is any headset perfect? No. But for me, is it worth it? Absolutely. So if you guys are looking for the next level of immersion, this is a no-brainer. I'll leave a link in the description and it gets you 3% off on top of whatever deals they got going on right now for Black Friday. They got a whole bunch of stuff going on. So if you want to grab one, I'll leave a link in the description. This thing right here, it changed me. I know, yeah, if you could do me a favor and hit that like button right there, it's free. It costs you nothing, but it helps my channel out a lot. So I thank you guys for that. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. All right. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys. And I'll catch you on the next video. Peace.